Hello and welcome to some more stars to listen. We've got loads of news for you, some evil car team mustering, a dash of Xeno Threat drama, and the week's schedule for official shows, as well as a question about the elusive Saber Raven. The Evocati or ETF Evocati test flight are a group of backers that get early builds of the game to help solve issues that may hamper further testing. They are also under an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement that prevents them from sharing patch notes specifics of any tests and the recording of any footage or screenshots of the build or at least it's supposed to we've we've all seen the leaks that turn up uh, there is some evocati recruitment going on at the moment if you've been active in ptus and on the issue council then you're possibly going to get invited to the evocati make sure you read all the documentation and nda stuff and understand it before you sign your life away Cloud Imperium are also clearing out some inactive members from that Evocati group as well. It'll be interesting to see exactly how many Evocati members get added and what Cloud Imperium's plans are for the Evocati going forward because obviously they use them hugely for um, testing and I think that genuinely helps them get out a product uh, quicker to at least the first stage of PTU um, just because they're sort of stress testing and getting all these sort of um, bugs that are just infuriating fixed as quickly as possible. But you've got to have a load of other uses as well because, um, as I said, they are NDA'd. Let's talk about the Xeno Threat. So Xeno Threat, that event continues throughout the rest of the week. But when's it ending? Well, we don't actually know yet. Um, it continues at least until Sunday and may go on to the next week um, as well. Um, so I wasn't expecting it to go on for that long. And I'm sort of glad that it is. Um, it would be great if it goes on for an additional week. Great. Uh, there has been a little drama about the armor reward for Xeno Threat, with some backers being disappointed at the blandness of the reward. So if you participate in those Xeno Threat missions, you will start to gain reputation. You can see in the reputation app um, with the CDF. And there are rewards tied to each level. There's three levels, bam, bam, bam. And if you run Xeno Threat as a mission a few times, you will literally have access to all of those uh, rewards. Now, these are unique because they appear to be a permanent reward. The first one that's been tied to reputation, in fact, as far as I'm aware anyway. So, yeah, some people are like, oh, the reward's a bit meh and, uh, and all that sort of stuff. But... The armor should be being added to your account sometime after the Xeno Threat events ended, and that means it should be clear from being wiped from your account. Uh, and I, yeah, it's an item that I want, and I'm going to try and get it on a few of my accounts. But it is a bit lackluster, maybe. I do think it's quite smart and understated as a look, and I, I like that. You should really consider this um, set of armor, this reward, as more of a test for these kinds of rewards coming in the future, where they start to add more and more tangible in-game rewards rather than just money for hitting reputation gates. Um, it was also confirmed that you just need to be in the third level of reputation for um, CDF to get the full set. You don't need to also max out the rep bar or anything like that as well, just uh, make sure you're in that third level. I did hear that the Australian, the AUS servers, were having a load of problems with Xenothreat and 30Ks over the weekend, with the workaround literally just being play on a different server. Um, I personally had an awesome time on the EU servers with very little problem. Um, me and Sin are going to be playing a load of Xenothreat during the week to get footage and that armor on a few different accounts, I suspect. But um, I want to get involved with Xenothreat a lot and give some feedback on it and know it backwards before it goes away. And hopefully Cloud Imperium will go, actually, we'll just run this every every couple of months on Xenothreat. But it is supposed to be a, a one-off event, which they redid because they wanted to remaster it. be interesting to see what the post-mortem from that event is and what they reuse from it in the future or if they redo it, whatever. We'll have to wait and see. There is a Nine Tails lockdown and Xeno Threat feedback thread on Spectrum as well that you might want to throw your two cents into. New subflare. So RSI's um, September subflare appears to be three different skins for the Avenger. Now, I like these a lot more than we um, had with the 100 series skins that they did, mainly because I have an Avenger or two. Um, so these are more useful to me, and I didn't have any use for those 100 eye skins, and I was just sort of like, ugh. Uh, but ship skins for Flare seem to rob the community the wrong way, at least some of the community, um, as you require to have that ship to make use of that skin. And if you have, like, a, an item that you can place, or a weapon, or clothing, or armor, or whatever, well, you can just use those. You can just use those without having to have a ship, or something as a prerequisite. So it's a little annoying, a little bit weird, but I'm interested to know what you think. Uh, this week in Star Citizen, Cloud Imperium have some official posts and videos for us. Uh, later Tuesday, there's going to be a short story entitled Dying Star, which I believe 
uh, appeared in a Jump Point magazine uh, a while ago. Uh, Wednesday, uh, we have the monthly reports for Squadron 42 and Star Citizen's Persistent Universe as we move into September. Um, Thursday, we have Inside Star Citizen looking at the current progress of the Aegis Redeemer, the Ares Starfighter, and the Sprint Report. Now, I think that's probably going to be the highlight of the week for me. I love those ships. I have a soft spot for them. I love ships in general. I'm a monster. Uh, and uh, Sprint Reports rock. So, a lot of cool stuff there. There is a Star Citizen Live on Friday, but we don't know on what yet. Ship Showdown. So, the Ship Showdown is moving to its voting phase on the 8th of September. However, Cloud Imperium have confirmed that the top 16 flyable ships that are uh, the most popular and that are in that Ship Showdown event starting uh, properly on the 8th of September, although there is the uh, current sort of community event going on at the moment where you just have to share your creations and love of a ship to, uh, and then the most popular ones will get selected. But this leads to an interesting question of what if the Sabre Raven is one of those um, top ships? What if, what if that's one of the most popular? Now is it eligible to be part of the ship showdown because it was a promo ship? Uh, and if it is, will it be on sale? There are some backers trying to make that happen. Uh, I suppose we're going to see in time whether or not that happens. Um, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. It's possible that CRG will go, nah, it's not eligible. Or, oh, actually, no, we have to sell it. But boom. Yeah, that's it for today. What do you think? Do you like the armor award for Xenothreat? Or do you think it's disappointing? Do you think the Sabre Raven could go on sale? Were you trying to get on the Australian servers over the weekend and just had no luck? Are you hoping to join the Evocati? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Mummy, I'm going to play Star Citizen when I get home. Well, little Timmy, you can't because hackers stole our house. This is a story I hear only too often. It was just one day before these two were going to get NordVPN. Now they have to live on the streets. Don't let that be you. Get NordVPN in the links below. Every month we have a ship giveaway. For August, we are giving away a Mercury Star Runner, the fantastic multi-crew hauler data mission runner, allowing you to do a little bit of everything the Star Citizen has to offer. To be in for a chance of winning that, comment on any of my videos made during the month. More details in the links below. If you'd like to further support the channel, consider becoming a channel member. The join button down below, you'll get some exclusive videos and content each month, and it really does help us keep going. There is also the new thanks button under my videos for another way of throwing money at us. Both me and Zin appreciate all the support for the channel. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the verse.